Hello everybody and welcome to this special interactive tarot reading. As I describe to you what this tarot reading is about, I would like you to look at the signs on the screen in front of you. I have numbered them one through four. And as you're looking at these signs, what did you come to this reading for? What, where do you need guidance and clarity? You know that this is sign is attached to. Um, you have to already have that in mind because from there, you get the information of the actual sign that you have selected, and then I'm gonna do a um, tarot reading to elaborate more on that for you, okay? So, go ahead and look at the signs in front of you and decide which one is really calling to you as it will contain a very special message about your situation and what you need to do to achieve what you desire. So I will start with sign one. If there is a different sign that is calling you, go ahead to the timestamp which is listed in the description box below as well as the top pinned comment in the comment section. Hello, so here is the message attached to the first sign and after this message I will start the tarot reading about it. So it says, if you were drawn to this sign, it is an indicator that what you are asking about is not going to turn out the way you have planned. This is not to say it's not going to happen. It's just that the path towards your desire is much different than what you are envisioning or anticipating right now. It's time to open your mind and loosen your grip on control. You will make it to your desired destination either way but you will enjoy the journey much more if you trust the current is carrying you exactly where you want to go. So with this, um, you are guaranteed that you're headed exactly where you wanna be. However, the way that you've mapped it out or planned it out, it's not like that's not the path, that's not, um, the, really the way it's going to go you know we when we think of things we plan it in our mind like from point A to point B and um, in this situation it's not you know you're still going to get to point B but it's not going to be a straight line it's going to have some curves and some turns and you know going off this way and going off that way but it is ultimately leading you to where you you want you know what you desire but because it's you know has all these twists and turns that's so that you can obtain and acquire other things before you reach that destination and that could be you know physical material things or that can be life lessons and consciousness expansion that you need to obtain before you can fully align to what it is you desire so this is really like yeah you're gonna get there but it's not going to go the way that you currently have it planned. So open yourself up and, you know, enjoy the ride because it's going to be good. So I will uh, get right into the tarot reading to add more to this uh, message from the sign. So let's see here. Oh, okay. Hmm. How appropriate is this to come out? Um, Mercury retrograde reinvention. Um, pretty much what I just said uh, from the signs message. So yeah, listen, it's not that it, it won't happen. It's that you need to um, open yourself up and realize, you know, the journey from A to B is quite different than what you have planned or anticipated for. And it's a good thing because as you review and allow yourself to go where the current is taking you, it's you will come into a much bigger manifestation than what you had originally planned. It's almost like... Um, you know, you may have thought, okay, I could achieve this particular thing, but the universe is like, yeah, you can achieve that, but let's go like a bit further. You can do more than that. We can go higher than that. So let's see uh, 
what the nature speak adds to this. All right, there's one. Okay, let's see what fell out. Oh yeah, look at that. Believe in your dreams. Yup, you're going to make it there, but we've just got to tweak our plan a little bit. We've got to be open to the current of our journey. Power in prayer. Look at that. This is saying that whatever you bless, you have a lot of power in that. Whatever you curse, you have a lot of power in that. Be very careful and cautious with your words because they have a lot of power. More power than maybe you give credit to them, okay? This is like you're a very strong manifester. And, you know, um, I'm a person that has a hard time like letting life happen. I always want to control every little aspect. So chances are, if you were drawn to this sign, you are very much like that. And this is really the universe saying, hey, you, you can let go of control. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the prayers that you send out to me every single day. Watch your words. Bless and praise more than you curse, judge, and condemn, okay? Really balance that out. And um, that could have everything to do with yourself and what you're telling yourself. So keep that in mind, okay? And last card. <laughs> Look at this. Static conditions. Ice and frost. Um, if, if this means that there's been like no movement and you're like, you feel like you're stuck, just trust that, okay? Let the, the stream thaw out because this is saying, you know, the current's going to start flowing again. It, it's inevitable. But, you know, right now you might be in like a, you know, holding pattern and that's okay. In If you're in this holding pattern, okay, I have to direct you right back to Mercury Retrograde card where it's stating, listen, we've got to reevaluate some things here and um, be open to different ideas and new ways of doing things. So let's add some uh, tarot to this and see what comes out. Yeah, destiny, baby, destiny. There's a destiny involved here, and uh, you need not fret. You need not worry. It's like all is well. Um, pull yourself out of any sort of uh, lower vibrating emotions, which would be frustration, anger. I just want to give up. This is never going to work. Like, scrap all of that. It's, yeah, it's going to work. It is. Like, it's part of your destiny here, okay? It's just the way to your destination is so different. Like, uh, let's say you wanted to get somewhere and the only way to get to that place is by boat, all right? But even knowing that, you're like, no, I'm going to drive a car. Well, you can't drive a car on water, right? So that's kind of what I'm feeling here is like you're wanting to drive a car on water instead of taking the boat. And, um, you know, that's definitely being a metaphor, but uh, really like it's your destiny. It will happen. It's just, you know, where do we need to re reassess? What do we need to slightly tweak? Do we need to believe in ourselves more? Do we need to be kinder to what we tell ourselves about ourselves, okay? Because look here, this is beautiful. This is the magician, and look, it comes right underneath that. You are magic. Gosh, this is such a beautiful reading. Believe in your dreams because it's your destiny. Believe in the power of your prayer, your word, your thought, and your emotion because you are magic, okay? And look at this. On this side, we are free, okay? On this side, we are very trapped. We are very restricted. On this side, we're free. We see our destination, you know, on the horizon. And also with the Nine of Swords, this is the card of the mental prison. So, listen, because this falls under static conditions, I know that 
many of you that were drawn to this sign, you've just got to believe in yourself more. Truly, 100% believe in you. Believe in what you're capable of. Um, oh, I just... You know, I know there's so much stuff out there about law of attraction, this, that, and the other, and, you know, there's so much more to it than that. And the power of your mind is amazing, and it, it's not in the sense of where let's just think about this thing that you want over and over and over and pretend in your head that you have it. You know, I, that can work for some people, but what I found is for the majority of people, that doesn't help. It, it actually seems to um, keep push things more at a distance, and that's why most people throw their hands at the law of attraction and say this is all nonsense. Where What I see in this reading is it's you can have what you want but it's about what you think of yourself okay it's about what you think is possible for you and you know if you're kind of in that mindset of i want i want i want change it to what would it take what would it take what do i need to do how high do i need to reach and believe in yourself please believe in yourself I, I see how magical you are I see that you know there's a destiny involved here so work on your beliefs um, if it's not about you know if that's not your hold up then come back to the power of prayer are, are your words blessing everybody or are you cursing anybody and cursing is really talking badly about somebody or judging them and calling them a name and you know if you see somebody being a total jerk um, it, it's natural to look at that and say hey you're a jerk and let them know it but this is telling you why don't you um, rise above that and you can observe and recognize that person is a jerk but you don't need to interject um, that you know you don't need to interject and um, give your opinion to that person all right and don't pollute your mind with frustration and anger about you know what that person has said or done okay don't let them pollute your mind. I just feel like uh, many of you, this blockage is because the journey is going differently than you expected. So you've kind of like put yourself in a prison mentally because it's not looking the way you expected. And I'm here to say it's going perfectly. Let go of your grip. Let go of your control. Okay, so let's pull some advice and see what comes out there. Emerging the real you, yep, see? You believe in yourself, like honestly, even if you're a confident person, I feel like you've just, it's all about, yeah, look at this, shadow. Get it out, get it out, whether it's a person, it's a belief, it's an emotion, it's a behavior. Mercury retrograde is calling your attention to reassess, all right? Um, because as soon as you do that and you realize that all is well and you are magic and you can achieve what you want to achieve, you're just going to shoot right off, okay? And it's all going to work out. Trust in your journey. There's destiny involved. The universe has got you. You are freaking magic. Free your mind, okay? So those are your messages for sign one. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello there. So if you were drawn to sign number two, here is the message. If you were drawn to this sign, it is an indicator that before you can achieve your desire, you need to recognize that you have a decision to make. Whether this is a choice between two things or a choice within to truly push yourself towards your goal, it doesn't really matter. What matters most is that you finally decide. Do not let fear, the unfamiliar, a sad heart or having to walk it alone holds you back. If it doesn't scare you at least a little bit, it's not worth doing. 
decide and then jump in all of the way. Now, for some of you, this can be spot on and you're like, oh my gosh, you're totally calling me out. And others of you might be kind of scratching your head like, I don't know that this sign's for me. I don't feel like I have a decision to make about anything. Well, with this sign being what has drawn you, there is a choice. And sometimes, you know, when we are wanting something or we want to manifest something, we're waiting on a sign. We're waiting on the guidance for the universe. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, this being the answer that you receive, it's that you have to decide. So if you're like... um I want to start being a, a famous painter or I want to start painting in general. You don't even have to be famous, okay? I would like to paint. But, you know, in saying that, are you taking steps towards becoming that or are you just waiting for a sign or synchronicity from the universe that, yes, you should paint, okay? Because you have to understand, we all have free will, okay? And you are... The driver of your life and if you and painting is just an example here if you want to become you know an amazing painter you've got to start doing it now with what you have and if you're like I'm barely skilled at it well I promise you this if you spent every day for the next year of your life painting you would be phenomenal after a year. The thing is, most of us want to just automatically be natural and great at anything we try for the first time. And, you know, sometimes it works out that way, but most of the time it doesn't. And, you know, anybody, like think of athletes, star athletes, they all had a raw talent early in life, okay? They weren't just born into the amazing athletes that you see out on the field on your TV screens, okay? They had some raw talent, and you know what? Some of them didn't even have the talent when they were a kid. It's just something they started doing, and they loved it, and because they loved it, they worked at it, and they worked at it, and they worked at it, and they became phenomenal at it, okay? So if you don't have a natural talent for something, but it really calls to you and you enjoy it, just start doing it and don't give up. It's day by day by day by day and you have to give yourself enough time to truly become the master of your craft, okay? So with this uh, sign right here, it truly is you know, on some level, you need to decide and make it real for yourself and not hold back and not wait for permission from anybody, not wait for this magical sign that says, yes, you are going to be a writer or yes, you are going to create this invention or yes, you are going to be married and you're going to have three kids. Like this is more like You've got to decide inside of you and make sure your mind and your heart and your spirit are all in alignment, all on board to achieve what it is that you want. And then you've just got to jump in 100% all of you and not give up until you, uh, you know, master your craft. So I will start the tarot reading and uh, see what... Spirit has to add to uh, the sign. Okay, I feel like right there, stop. Saturn return, age. Yeah, okay, you know what? With this coming out, some of you, are you feeling like I'm running out of time, I'm, I, I've got to do this, or do you feel like the time has already passed for what you truly desire or what you were truly hoping for? Because with Saturn return, there's a, you know energy about I'm running out of time. Also with Saturn return, you know that's where if you haven't um, accomplished a lot of things that you set out in your life to do, uh, you know, you get to that midlife crisis, you know, is what this could be associated with where you're feeling, um, I didn't do this, I didn't achieve that, and it, it makes you feel really bad about yourself as though achieving those things somehow, you know, deems you worthy or unworthy. And here's the thing, you know, it's okay. 
just decide now. I don't care if you're 50, 60, or 70 years old. It's not over. It's not game over until either you don't have your mind anymore or you're no longer physically embodied. That's when game's over, okay? But if you are breathing and you are watching this reading, game is not over. And you can achieve amazing things. I don't care what your age is. You can truly achieve it. And this here is telling you yes. Now, for others of you with the Saturn age, it goes back to where you don't have that just natural talent and you're amazing, okay? You're actually going to have to work and develop yourself. Um, however, that applies to your situation or what you're asking about. There's some part of you that you need to develop and grow and become the master. And don't let you know, the fact that you are novice to something deter you and uh, make you want to just not even try. Try and you will succeed. Something will come of it, okay? But, you know, if you're feeling panicky, like, I've got to decide. Well, yeah, you do. You've got to decide and make it real for you, okay? So let's see uh, what the Nature Speak has to add to this. We have spirit contact. So the your spirit guides are right there with you. And also, um, just because that's the card that has come out, those of you who are watching this on should I start developing and growing my mediumship skill, my psychic ability, my intuition, my empathy, my energy healing, my teaching of crystals or essential oils, whatever it is for you that is very spiritually based and related. This is a hundred percent yes. Believe in yourself. Do not be afraid. Um, you know, I was raised Christian and I was I always had my gift, okay, and even um, when I would go to the women of worship, there was a lady who, and I, I never understood this because she clearly was an empath, a psychic, but because it was in a Christian setting and, and that's how she was portraying it, like, I'm just going to speak as Jesus is speaking through me, that's how she perceived it. That was acceptable, but you know, some oracle in a little shop that's evil. I, I don't get that, but anyways, she told me, um, she singled me out and she told me that I was special and um, I needed to contact well, not contact, but better connect with Jesus and God, and that was her perception of the you know, non physical. and. I, you know, because I got permission from somebody at the time that I deemed worthy of giving me permission to be what I already was, um, I really started opening up from there. And then, you know, later in life, um, I expanded even more. It's just we're all on our own journey. So, you know, do not be afraid of the unknown or other people's perception of what's evil and right and wrong because that's their perception everybody has their own perception and um, if everybody saw the same we would all like the same things but that's not how life works so don't give somebody else's perception a theory or idea more credit than your own spirit speaking to you okay because I don't care who you are or how high up in a church um, or how master of a psychic you claim to be. We all communicate with the non-physical in our own way that is as unique to us as our voice, as our eyes, as our fingerprints, okay? So you need to establish what is right and wrong for you from your own spirit, not from anybody else telling you, judging you, trying to shape you, trying to mold you. In fact, with Saturn age coming out, I feel as though many of you have really held back from what it is you so desire deeply because of, 
you know, the lack of approval from other people or them making you feel bad or saying, no, that's wrong, that's not right, or good luck with that. And this here is like, nope. So if you feel that you have some sort of spiritual gift, here's your confirmation. It's time to grow it. Um, you know, this doesn't have to be spiritual gift. If, if it's not about that, this is where, you know, the non-physical is really trying to push you and encourage you to fulfill your dreams of your heart, okay? Yeah, wow, look at that. Hidden realms open. Um, this is definitely a spiritual reading. Let's see what's next. Oh my gosh, the spirit is about. Uh, whew. So listen here, guys. Um, some of you, this is 100% about opening up to this the spirit world or growing your spiritual gift. And for those of you that that does not apply, um, you might want to try, if you don't um, daily pray or talk to your spirit guides, talk to the universe, talk to the deity that you believe in, um, start doing that, like ASAP. Um, I feel overall, open up your spirit, open up your energy to all the possibilities that could be for you. Decide that you can reach out and grab the stars, okay? Like hidden realms open. Spirit is about, you know, lakes and ponds are considered uh, the portal between, you know, earth and the underworld. So, and then hidden realms are opening. Spirit contact. <laughs> this is, uh, wow. Um, I know that this is not about spiritual gift for all of you. But it is very strongly indicated in this particular reading. Um, but for the rest of you, yeah, you just, man, open up. Open up that mind. Oh, my gosh. And as I'm saying that, look at what has flown out. The Ace of Cups right there under spiritual contact. Yeah, it's time for a change. It's time for something new. It's time to finally decide what makes your heart sing, not what everybody else says is the right way or what you should do, but what makes your heart sing. Really open up to your spirit guides. If there's any sort of confusion, they will show you, okay? Um, so under this Hidden Realms open, we have this King of Swords. And um, in this position, this is where I'm saying, you've got to take that first step and choose to master your craft 100%. Um, if you've already done that, this guy coming out, it might be that you need to work on, you know, mastering the thoughts of your mind and really going to higher places way outside of the box to believe what you're capable of. Like, you are capable of so much more than you know. And again, for those of you with the spiritual gift, here it is. You've got it. You, you've got it, okay? And but I see here there's some element. Look at two of wands. That's about a choice, right? <laughs> um, there's this element of fear or uh, lack of clarity or maybe even confusion. Um, is somebody going to judge me? Is this the right thing? Am, am I going against my faith? Am I going against myself? Like this is just like a big cluster of is this right, okay, um, with this two of wands, and the thing is, I think it's perfect, it's only you that, um, you know, feels as though you can't, or there's something in the way, or maybe this is the wrong thing to do, or I'm not that special, yeah, you are, you are that special, okay, you've got to decide, maybe that's the decision you must come to, is that you are special. You're not just another body walking around. You are special. You are here for a destiny. You are here to enjoy life, to achieve things, to experience things, you know? So let's uh, see what advice comes out for you guys. So we have attention, focus, and allow experiences. Look at that. Surrender. Okay. Surrender 
and just let it happen let it be believe in yourself say I open myself I decide I am going to do this and once you you know make that declaration start moving in the direction to what you want with what you have right now today where you stand um, even if this is something you're reaching for that you have absolutely no idea, no experience in. I'm telling you, if you focus yourself and you dedicate yourself and you allow all the experiences that come along with that, you will become the master of your craft, okay? You will 100%, but you've got to decide for you. You've got to decide, okay? So those are your messages for sign two. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello there. So here is the message for sign three. If you were drawn to this sign, it is an indicator that you need to align yourself and your energy to that which you are truly desiring. What are your primary thoughts and feelings about your desires as well as your life in general? Ask yourself what it truly would take to achieve your desire. What can you change or do differently? differently to help project yourself towards your desire. Being drawn to the sign is a call to your own energy and you are being asked to elevate the primary thoughts and emotions that you operate from each and every moment. Okay, so if you are drawn to this sign, this is definitely like, yes, you can have uh, what you're asking about. However, <clears throat> You've got to get your energy on board. You've got to get in alignment, you know, with that stream of energy of which you desire, what you want to achieve, what you want to have, okay? And, uh, you know, it's not, I'm not saying you need to constantly think about it and say, oh, this is, uh, this is what I'm going to have, this is what I'm going to do, you know, as most teachings of the Law of Attraction. Um, with this particular sign, what I'm going to tell you is if you're somebody who worries frequently, who is always thinking about lack, you know, am I going to have enough money for this? Am I going to be able to do that? You, um, I'm sad that I don't have this. I'm sad that I'm, I lost that. I'm unhappy about how this particular thing happened. I really, really miss this person and I want us to be back together. You know, where are your thoughts every day? And I promise you, if you paid attention just for one day, all day long, where your thoughts go, you would be amazed. I am not lying. You would realize how much um, pollution is in your mind in the day about worry, judgment, stress, um, you know, lower vibrating emotions, anger, frustration, fears, sadness, um, apathy, just, uh, you know, those feelings that really anchor us down and suck our energy right from our soul. And, you know, those are normal feelings and the experiences that come with them are a part of everybody's life journey. However, the difference between a person who is successful and achieving what they want and a person who just really struggles and it's like the world feels against them it comes down to one thing what is primarily being played in your head all day every day while you are awake like really think about that and um, you know everybody wants this easy fix or this magical solution you're gonna get this you're gonna get that but I know personally from experience that you've got to be on board for your dreams and you've got to be active as well you can't just want something and desire it and just wait for it to show up like magic okay you've got to you know balance your thoughts balance your emotions and then move towards what it is you desire you know if you want um, a better situation for yourself don't constantly think oh this is never going to get better I just need a miracle I just need a miracle like that's going to perpetuate your situation okay when you're thinking 
you know what, I'm doing good, I'm grateful, and I know every day is just getting better and better. Every day is just getting better and better. I am so grateful for all my blessings. I'm grateful that I have food to eat today. I'm grateful that I have some clean water. I'm grateful for the clothes on my back. Like, you know, um, everybody's situation is different, but I promise you, the more you switch your thoughts to what is working, what makes you happy, what you're grateful for, you know, not only do you feel better in general, it opens your energy up, okay? And it's from that platform of open energy, higher vibrating energy that you align to the things that you truly desire. That is the truth all day long. It doesn't come from thinking about it over and over and over, but not doing a single thing to help yourself achieve it. Like that's spinning your wheels. You're, it's like you're creating all this energy, but it, it doesn't have a trajectory. It's just going round and round and round. Okay. So let's get into the tarot reading and see what comes out there. Ooh, so we've got the lunar eclipse change. Yes, how perfect is that to uh, be the main energy for this sign? This is saying, yeah, we've got to change something about our thinking, our emotions, or our behavior. And in doing that, it's like, boom, you achieve what it is that you uh, have been set out to do. So I think this would be your confirmation, 100% for sure. Okay, so let's pull some more cards and see what else comes out with this. Ooh, okay, that one just jumped right on out. Ooh, look at that. Power and prayer. Um, this is saying that your words that you speak to bless or even to curse others is very powerful. Also, your words and your thoughts about yourself are powerful, whether you're cursing yourself or blessing yourself. Like, you know, we don't often think about that when, you know, um, we're telling ourselves you're worthless, you're a loser, you can't achieve this, it's never going to happen. Like we don't think that it's a bad thing when we're doing it to ourselves, but honestly, the universe doesn't distinguish. It's just energy and whether you're directing that energy, you know, towards another person or you're directing it towards yourself, it's the same effect. It keeps you in a lower vibration of being, of perceiving, of experiencing, of feeling, okay? So you have a lot of power in the energy that you project outwardly, as well as the energy you project towards yourself. More than that with this is, the more you put yourself out there to the universe, what it is that you want, and you're like, Tell me what it, what will it take? What do I need to change? What do I need to do? You know, and you believe in yourself. You will make it. I promise. Look at this. Yep. Shed the old. We've got to let go of old uh, pa patterns of negative thinking. And um, maybe even for some of you, some emotional patterns of behavior that needs to be adjusted some all right this is really like it's time to let the past go it's time to let old ways and of doing things and old ways of being go it's time for the new it's time for a shift and look at this trust your intuition yeah um Just honestly, with this reading, I really feel like you guys just need to slightly tweak your thinking and your feeling um, and keep it more in those positive uh, vibration energies, those more elevated energies, because nothing is truly right or wrong or good or bad. We, the perceiver, judge and deem certain things right, wrong, good, bad, 
beautiful, ugly, etc. Okay, so let's see here. Let's. All right. Well, that was two cards that flew out, and um, I'll tell you, this queen. Oh, this is very lovely. This queen, she's the air queen. This is the mental realm and also uh, communication. So she's just reiterating for you that your thoughts are incredibly powerful. The words you use to speak towards yourself or to others are incredibly powerful. Keep that in mind. And now look at this. For shed the old, we have this two of cups. So this could mean a couple different things. Um, if there's somebody you're really hung up on, a situation you're really hung up on, um, and you have a lot of unbalanced, unresolved emotions about it, here's the universe. It's time to shift out of the old. It's time for a change. Lunar eclipse. That's when something you know eclipses out of your life. Um, it's not part of your journey. You So this could represent an actual person or this could represent some emotions around a person or situation that really keep you in a lower vibration, you know, and um, usually that's because it causes you a lot of heartache and pain, but it's a choice where you focus your thoughts, all right? Um, and if you want to rehash something and dwell on something and focus all of your thinking and emotions on that, you can, but is it going to change anything? If the answer is no, you know, all the thinking, stressing, worrying, crying, being upset isn't going to change anything, then you should tell yourself, it's time for me to change that behavior because it's not solving anything for me. It's not helping me achieve what I want. I want to be happy. I want to be smiling. I want to be filled with joy. So we've got to focus on those feelings and reach for them and slowly you know, day by day, you will get there. And what was really hurting you or you were held up with or hanging on to will slowly dissipate from you, okay? And I know that's the truth because look at what is the last card. This is um, one of the best cards in this particular deck of the Vice Versa Tarot. This is the Cosmic Yes, okay? So, you know what you need to do and after you do that and you make the appropriate changes you will get your manifestation this card right here is that manifestation achievement new opportunity um, new money gifts reward so let's pull you at some advice and again cosmic yes So we're going to pull you guys some advice. Oh, wow. Yeah, many of you, this has a lot to do with a relationship, whether friend, family, romantic, or even business, okay? And I say business because we have the air queen and this pentacle. So maybe some of you had a business idea or you've been in business with somebody and it's just not working and it's time to change, okay? Um, others of you, this could be just a really hard relationship, um, you know, whether family or romance where, you know, there's things, I would say this is estranged. It's, we're not together anymore. We're not speaking maybe even, and there's just a lot of emotional baggage still attached, um, to the past that you need to transmute and let go of so that the new can come in for you. Okay. Yeah. Look at this quiet, sacred time. I promise you this. You guys get your thoughts and emotions um, balanced and in a, you know, more positively focused on the daily, all right, on the daily to waking up. Today's going to be a good day. And even if the day kind of doesn't go well, guess what? We fall asleep. We wake up. Today's going to be a good day. And you tell yourself that every day when you wake up and you believe it and I assure you you get in that routine enough you're gonna start having better days but just depending on what this is for you what's holding you back you know you might want to start looking in the mirror every day and saying I love you you are worth it 
I love you. You are worth it. You can do this. We got this. We're going to make this happen. Like, look in the mirror and say that to yourself every day. And just watch what happens. It's Everything is energy. And, um, you know, where you're vibrating predominantly is your daily reality, your daily experiences. And I could tell you personally, as I have um, worked for a couple years to really harness and discipline myself and my thinking and my emotions, and it has just been a world of difference. I used to have like a lot of drama, things were up, down, up, down, up, down, and now I'm a pretty smooth, even trajectory of energy. It's not to say I don't encounter, you know, setbacks and frustrations, but it's not like it was <laughs> in the past, and um, I'm better able to cope with it now. It, it doesn't upset me and get me so angry or hurt me so bad as it had in the past. So those of you attracted to this sign, big time change needs to come in. Um, and, you know, if you have some really crappy relationships in your life that don't support you, don't offer you, you know, encouragement, it might be time to shed them so you can finally rise and shine. All right. So those are your messages connected to a sign three. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello there. Here is the message for sign four. If you were drawn to the sign, it is an indicator that there is a lot happening behind the scenes of your life. There is a person or opportunity that will show up on your path to your desire. However, this encounter will change your destination entirely. Trust in this unexpected turn as it is leading you to a much better outcome. This is a detour that brings you much joy and will change what you were originally reaching for. So with this sign, um, this is probably the best sign of the four. And um, with this, it's saying you go ahead and keep planning things as you have been. Keep working towards your goal. Keep doing what you can do every single day to achieve what you desire, okay? But um, there's going to be a curveball that comes in, and curveball isn't even really the right term because um, it's better. So if it feels like a curveball, like, oh, you know what? Why is this happening? Trust it because it's leading to something much bigger and better than what you're actually trying to achieve or what you're reaching for right now today. So, you know, very positive, but more than that, I feel whatever this person or opportunity is that just kind of shows up very unexpectedly is positive, okay? And um, they might bring about an idea or, you know what, even you might come up with an, an entirely new idea about how you want to um, achieve what you were reaching for, you know, whatever brought you to needing a sign, it's like there's going to be a complete change of plans, but it's positive and it leads to even better things. So let's uh, do the reading here and see what it has to add to sign number four. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a good card. North Node, life's purpose. Yeah, you you are on the path of your destiny, my friend. And um, again, if, it, if the unexpected shows up, trust it. It is leading to amazing things, your life purpose. This is very positive card here. So let's pull some nature speak and see what that adds to uh, the north node here. Wow, power and prayer. And I swear this card has come out uh, for three signs. Uh, there was one sign I don't think that got this, but here you guys are also receiving this with um, a deck of 61 cards. So um, I see kind of a repeating theme through these signs um, in the tarot readings. This is telling you 
uh, what you bless or what you curse, whether it be another person or yourself, you have very powerful energy in that. So if you are somebody who is always kind of down on yourself, being really hard on yourself, you're actually kind of holding yourself back, okay? Because we think that when we're being abusive to ourselves, that that's okay, that it doesn't create any sort of karma or energy. Well, that's false. Um, you know, do unto others as you'd have done unto you. Well, do unto yourself as you desire others to do unto you as well, okay? Because you are a person, and whether you're treating yourself badly or somebody else badly, the universe isn't distinguishing that. The universe is only filling energy, and it's the energy in which all other things respond back to you. So if you are being really hard and mean and abusive to yourself and what you're saying and feeling and thinking about yourself, you're keeping yourself kind of locked into this negative web of energy and you're spinning your wheels and you don't even realize it, okay? So this is like you be very positive towards yourself and you love yourself um, and don't talk badly about yourself. Also use your words very carefully and wisely. What you say to another person has a big time impact, but more than that, with power and prayer, you are a very strong manifester. You know, you are a co-creator with the universe. And, you know, the more that you believe in that and align yourself to that, the more your life will flow easily. But trust in your power of prayer because you are a bit magical, okay? Wow, and look at here. Shed the old. Um, that really speaks for itself. It, it, the season has changed, okay? Um, and to me, this is more talking about this unexpected uh, person or opportunity or change of mind in you that just kind of shows up. And this is where you're like, okay, yeah, you know what? This was a good idea or that was a good way to go about this, but this, oh my God, this is fire. This is the best way to go about this. Or, oh my God, this opportunity totally shifts what I was trying to achieve, but this is so much better than that, okay? Life purpose, you are aligning to a destiny, um, you know, with this. And open, hidden realms open. Yeah, look at that. There it is, that unexpected where it just kind of shows up and it, it changes everything, okay? So you're headed somewhere, but what you where you think you're going and your end goal, that's all going to change, but in such a big, powerful, amazing way that it's not like it's changing and you're frowning about it. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe this. This is better than I thought, or I would have never imagined this would have shown up to help me out. You know, amazing blessing, unexpected blessing, maybe even for some of you, minor miracle, okay? It's just something is going to come along. And you're, you're like, so you're walking a straight line, okay? And you're headed all the way over here. And you know I'm going to walk from here to here. Well, here you are, okay, you're walking. And then something shows up. And you're like, hmm, this looks better. And instead of making it to there, you're going to turn, all right? And you're going to go in a completely different direction. But it's better. So, um, you know, most of us, we want what we want. And um, I just think whatever this unexpected thing is, it's just you're going to be totally okay. You're going to be like, I don't even want to get there. I want to go right now. Like, this looks so much more appealing. Okay, so let's see. Mm-hmm. We have the strength card here in this position with power of prayer. And uh, first and foremost, do not be the person who breaks you down inside and is abusive to you based on what you're thinking and feeling about yourself. No, you, you are special, okay? We all have our demons that we fight in our head about self-worth, self-esteem, all of it, what we're capable of. But what I've personally learned is your mind is an incredibly powerful thing. And the more you believe in you, 
the more like everybody, the whole world starts believing in you. It's pretty amazing. Um, but this also is saying you have nothing to fear. Okay. What refuses to be destroyed cannot be destroyed. Um, what refuses to be oppressed or um, pushed over will not be oppressed or pushed over. And some of you, it might be it's time to just really assert your you know, personal will and power and let nobody dissuade you from that, okay? Um, because it's like, do not be afraid with this. And, you know, don't be afraid of reaching out to the non-physical realm. Like, really don't. Um, I kind of feel some of you, uh, you're wanting to, like, maybe... I feel like some of you are having a hard time with your like your religious belief or standpoint based upon what you're reaching for or what, how you're feeling or something you were exposed to. And to me, this is saying there's nothing you need to be afraid of. Anything you feel that's haunting you or challenging you at a spiritual level, you have very strong power in prayer. Okay? And look over here. It's time to shed the old and invest in something new. Oh, look at this. And this is the Four of Cups right under this Hidden Realms. Um, this is usually about a missed opportunity. And um, this could be a literal missed opportunity that shows up while you were you know, heading on this path and here it is, it shows up and that's what makes you say, oh yeah, that's what I always wanted, okay? Um, for others of you, this is where you've been holding yourself back somehow, some way, okay? And now, hidden realms are opening as you release the past, you believe in yourself and you speak kind and very empowering words about yourself and to yourself and not letting fear dissuade you um, from, you know, pushing towards what you want and trying to tell you you cannot achieve that. Yes, you can achieve that 100%, okay? So let's uh, see what advice comes out. Give blessings and plant the seed and manifest. Nice. Uh, yeah, to me, honestly, even though I know that you guys are headed on the right path and there's this thing that's going to show up because there's destiny involved here, um, this to me is advice of you be nice to you. You believe in yourself, okay? And be very grateful for all the things in your life that are beautiful, that, you know, are going your way, are what you want. It's just really immerse yourself in that. And with plant seeds and manifest, this is like you believe in you like you're a rock star and don't let anybody tell you differently. Like, don't. Um, dream big. Dream really big. I just, there's something beautiful that's going to show up unexpectedly for you and it's just going to change everything. It's part of your destiny, okay? But believe in yourself. Don't berate yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Part of this turn has a lot to do with you elevating yourself and believing in your power and your worth because it's very strongly spoken of in this reading, okay? So those are your messages for this uh, sign number four. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.